Hello Sagittarius, it's my lady from Malay's Way Tarot and I'm going to do your weekly reading <laughs> for July 10th through 17, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish and I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. Um, I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, and subscribing and setting up personal readings with me. If you want a personal reading, just check in the description box below. Email me. We can set something up. Oops. Sorry. Other than that, check your sun, moon, and rising signs. And don't forget to subscribe. Okay? There we go. What's going on? What's going on for the Sagittarius? Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, July 10th, 17, 2017, love reading. Love reading, love reading. Mm. Someone is unwilling to make a sacrifice. Somebody like, you better do it, you better do it, you better do it, and you're like, I'm not, I'm not going to do it. not gonna do it oof hmm I guess you just being honest I guess it's something that should just be done but you're like I'm not gonna do it usually I guess it's something that I don't know I think in some cases it might be something that people usually lie about like I'm gonna do it but they don't do it, but you just flat out say it. I'm not going to do it. All right, what is this? What is this? Mm. All right, so whatever it is, you're going to keep going. So let me ask them, what is this sacrifice? What is the sacrifice that the Sagittarius is rejecting? What is this sacrifice that the Sagittarius is not doing? What is this sacrifice that's not going down? Hmm. All right, so I don't know, but it sort of make me feel like it's a big deal because it's like you're looking at the overall. Okay, so whatever it is, this is gonna be a long reading. It's gonna it's making you like feel negative inside. All right, I want to know what this secret is, what this sacrifice is. So it's something. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing, playing Clue or Pictionary or something. That is violating somebody's personal space. I'm not getting any words in my head either. It's like blank. So, I don't know. Maybe somebody trying to get somebody to quit their job. I think it's bigger than that. But, I mean, I guess it could be that. Yeah, okay, well, it seemed bigger than that. So maybe somebody is trying to get somebody to quit their job, but they like, no. But they making them feel bad about it. No, they're getting angry. The Sagittarius is getting angry that somebody is trying to make them quit their job. So uh, to, to take it up to another lot, notch, to make it like it's not a boyfriend-girlfriend thing, even though that's another, that's a reason to make me you know, mad, but to make me more angry, for some of you, it may be your boss trying to get you to quit, like quit or I'll fire you, and it's infuriating you, or it could be your partner telling you to, to quit your job, and you're like, I don't want to do it, I just want to know why, why they want you to quit your job, mm. Maybe they want you to quit it because it's making you angry. Oh, because you're gone too much. You're always gone. Okay. You're always gone. So this could be a partner. Wow. Okay, so you always gone, but it's crazy. It, feel, it seems like the weight is lifted when you're gone. But then when you come back, it's just a whole bunch of burdens because of what's going on at work. I don't know what's happening, but it is not too good. Ooh. 
So your partner think you didn't start another relationship that you care about at work. Or you may have and they're trying to tell you to get rid of that work relationship. So for some of you, you didn't have to have a relationship at work and your partner's telling you to get rid of the job and the person. Some of you, are the per your partner is just telling you to get rid of the person. And for some of you, your boss is trying to fire you. But all, whatever it is, is going on is pissing you off to the point where you're about to explode, Sagittarius. Mm. So this makes me feel like you really love your job and you love your partner. Yeah, this makes me feel like you like or you're attracted to somehow everything that's going on. Mm. So the third party could be like make less than you. I think you might be their boss. Or they may be your boss or they in a different race or religion, but they don't have the same moral backgrounds as you. But you care about them in that situation, whatever that is. So that's a lot of stuff going on here, guys. Somebody feels stabbed in the back and it could be by a Leo. Yeah. Somebody thought they was ready for something wasn't quite ready for that they got tore up trying to build something on an unstable environment that probably is the person for some of you who are dealing with the person at work you really like and care about that person but you got a whole family at home okay sagittarius july 10th through 17th Jill. Sagittarius, July 10th through 17th, 2017. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. All right. I think some of you were turned down a, a job at work. Oh, because somebody was manipulating everything. So yeah, that's the the pick people. Oh yeah, somebody getting ready to get fired if they already haven't, and it's because the the boss manipulating stuff around. So that's that one situation where the boss was trying to get the person to quit fire and I think what's happening or what's gonna happen is this person been doing a little nasty tedious stuff to you sneaky stuff trying to get you to do all the little crazy jobs and you went off and that was it they knew you would go off or they knew know you're gonna go off all right so we're gonna start with the seven of swords seven it's reverse result product of your labor wisdom and outside support so this makes me feel like you you sometimes more often than should uh take it easy at work and that's why your boss wanted to get rid of you all right so you got the page of coins and that's reversed um not learning anything new not doing this basically you get this is the i'm getting fired you ain't sitting you ain't got no extra money you ain't got nothing you just sitting there and everything that you were doing is going to be cut off all right you got the devil reversed uh negative feelings trying to take revenge ill-conceived approach I think this this could be you and your boss after they get you fired. Um, shoot. You gonna want revenge. So you probably be calling up there and making orders or, you know, telling their wife that they're cheating on them or some kind of crazy stuff like that. Crazy but true. Alright, so 
two of staffs is surprise, unexpected outcome, and fearful anticipation. So, of course, if you didn't get fired yet, you thinking and you knowing you're going to get fired because you went off on your boss. You can't just go off on your boss and think everything is going to be great. But you might be dealing with another fire sign because there's a lot of fire going on here to me. But could be anything. Let me think of in other ways. Yeah, so if this is the relationship, somebody just not working hard enough for this relationship. You going out and you're not bringing home any money and they getting sick of it. Like you always working, but you always broke. Like I ain't about to deal with this. So somebody decide to part ways. Mm. But I feel like they gonna go back to an ex. But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Don't forget to subscribe and have a great week.